Turning now to our other lead story tonight, Secretary Blinken decided to postpone a high-profile trip to Beijing this weekend in response to what the U.S. calls a Chinese spy balloon currently floating eastward across the country. Nick Schifrin has that story. It's about 5.30 on Wednesday, February 1st, 2023. It was first spotted over Montana. I have no idea what this thing is. I hope it's in focus. This morning, spotted a thousand miles to the southeast above St. Joseph, Missouri. The U.S. calls it a spy balloon. Beijing today called it a civilian airship used for research, mainly meteorological purposes, that deviated far from its planned course. The Chinese side regrets the unintended entry of the airship into U.S. airspace due to force majeure or uncontrolled forces. But senior U.S. officials say it's maneuverable, designed for surveillance, and Beijing was, quote, trying to fly this balloon over sensitive sites. Montana is home to one of the U.S.'s three intercontinental ballistic missile silos. Yesterday, the U.S. mobilized F-22 jets. Their administration officials says President Biden took his military advisor's advice and decided not to shoot the balloon down because of the risk to people on the ground. We do recognize that uh, any potential debris field would be significant uh, and potentially cause civilian uh, injuries or deaths uh, or significant property damage. Today, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken canceled what would have been the most senior trip of the Biden administration to China. What this has done uh, is created the conditions um, that undermine the purpose of the trip, including ongoing efforts to build a floor under the relationship uh, and to address a broad range of issues that are of concern uh, to the American people, uh, I believe to the Chinese people, and certainly as well to people uh, around the world. U.S. officials say China has sent spy balloons over the U.S. before, but never for this extended period of time, and never right before a Secretary of State visit. Uh, the most important thing right now in the moment is uh, to see that this surveillance asset gets out of our airspace. But House Foreign Affairs Committee Chairman Representative Mike McCall said the administration should have shot it down earlier. This balloon should have never been allowed to enter U.S. airspace. It now poses a direct and ongoing national security threat to the U.S. homeland. It's certainly not a standard weather balloon. That's a given. Paul That's Fetkowitz given. owns Kmont Consolidated Industries, the largest American provider of meteorological balloons to the U.S. government, including the military. We can see on it that there's a solar arrays to, to have a battery power, you know, to supply power to maybe a camera, uh, maybe a heat source. The fact that they don't want us to gently bring the balloon down in our territory and have us go grab it for them is, it's kind of saying something to me that they don't want, they don't want anybody to get their hands on this balloon. We got this weird thing above us. This thing is weird. The current trajectory shows the balloon will float toward the Atlantic Ocean. U.S. officials won't reveal their plans other than to say they're monitoring. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Nick Schifrin. It is not the moon.